What's going on with my camera? Oh, I guess you're turned around the wrong way. Oh, hello, hello, good morning. Um, I just started this video, but now I realize that I have something else I'm in the middle of that I have to finish. So I've got the oven turned on, and I have all these containers of um, coconut oil. I have, um, you know, there's always a little bit left in the bottom of the container. So I'm, um, I put them, I've been saving all these empty containers and now I'm, I'm pouring them all into the same one. And so I'm going to make cookies. I'm going to go pick up some hay for my garden with, ouch, with my friend. And... And then, so I was going to make her son some cookies. We're under lockdown again, though, so, um, of course, we'll be very socially distanced. And we will be working, and I guess you're allowed to go out if you're going to work. Is that right? Can that be considered work if you're working on your garden? In there. Uh, this is not. I have so many split ends in my hair. I I don't brush it very often. I don't comb it very often. I use my fingers. I I use cream rinse, and yet uh, my hair doesn't get long because it keeps breaking. Okay, so now we've accumulated a whole bunch of oil. A mitt would be better to do it because this wouldn't. Anyway, I was going to show you how to make, um, this one's not done. I'm pouring them into stuff, but it's like they're all not being poured into the same one. Hello. Okay, so I, out of all that, I retrieved about, mm, half a cup. Coconut oil. Over here, I guess. Okay, that's done. Sorry about that. Okay, so what I was going to show you. Hi, how have you been? <clears throat> My two front teeth fell apart, and so they were black with a. Uh, and the dentist filled them up and he didn't take the black out first. He didn't remove it so you could see the black, you know, like, hello. <clears throat> and so the teeth are now, the fillings are now falling. So I'll just pop without letting you see. Anyway, <clears throat> <clears throat> so um, my friend called, or I, my friend and I, I, she inspired me. So what I'm going to do first, shall we get back, get down to business here? Let's see, I'll turn it around like this. So I have, I have some body butter and I have some citronella essential oil and I have some castor oil and I mix them together and I put them in a jar and I have the most amazing, um, this is from last year, I have the most amazing um, anti-bug repellent, or anti-bug stuff. Where's the spatula? Do you know silicon is an element? Or silica, or silicon? But well, anyway, let me see. I'm sorry, let me turn you around. Turn around. Okay. Now. As I tried to do this properly. I mean, soap the other day. Can you believe that? Well, it was a while ago now. So, what we'll do, I'll get a bowl. Ta -da. Some people will get a bowl before they turn on the camera. How would that be for preparedness? So, we're under lockdown again because the hospitals are all filling right up in Ontario. Is very old, um, probably 15 years old by now, but 
works. It's perfect. There's this marketing thing, a marketing strategy, which the marketers came up with. How could we get people to buy more food, to buy more stuff? Well, we give it an expiration date. Ha! Of course, what a cool idea. A best before date. But they, so you're following the best before date. Meanwhile, you know what the grocery store is doing with the food that's going bad? Like melons or stuff? They cut off the rotten stuff and then they sell it as, as a half or a slice. Or or then they, if when it gets bad enough, then they sell it as pieces. And they, you know, like this is who we're dealing with here. Okay, so now I get a better spoon for that. What kind of spoon should I use? Maybe a metal spoon. So you see all that coconut oil I was doing. A text message from my friend. Okay. So into this mixture. Mm. This is also very old, but it sure smells. I stopped making soap about eight years ago, ten years ago. Still smells like it. Okay, so I'll put some of this in here. You don't need much, you know. That's probably way more than you'll ever need. Because right. it sure smells. But, and then we add a bit of castor oil. Because castor oil is really good for your skin. draws out all kinds of bad stuff that's happening in your body. Yeah, that's for the oatmeal raisin cookies I'm going to make. You know, I just had no motivation at all. I just didn't want to do anything. I've been playing Minecraft. <laughs> yes, indeed. That's a whole other story. A whole nother story. I'm going to just stir this up, you see? And then we've got some, and I'll... Um, I think I'm going to give some to my friend. I'll get another little container, just a second. Okay. This is the end of my body butter. You know, you buy it from the... This one is from New Directions Aromatics. I don't know if you can see that or not, but anyway. It's in Brampton, Ontario. Okay, I'll keep last year's, oh, this, is, this is several years ago, but I'll keep that one separate from my new one, just because. There. That's enough for her. And I'll make some more for myself. Look at another little jar. I'll put it in a jar. These are good little jars. They're from artichokes. Do you ever get artichoke hearts? Now that the children have all grown up and moved out, and Willem's not commuting to work anymore, our expenses are much lower. Of course, so is our income. But So I figure if I want to eat it, I'm just going to buy it because... Or Willem buys it. If I go, I, I won't buy that. Are you kidding? That's too expensive. But I tell him, please buy that. And then he'll buy it. So then I have it. Okay, there we go. Plenty for quite a few years. So, if you're going to do this yourself, like and subscribe. You know it really does help. I don't know what it helps do, but... I guess it helps for you to see it because it will then come up on your television when you watch TV, YouTube on TV, on a Roku, a smart TV of some sort. Is this a weird world we live in now? So um, when you watch it on there, you go over to the side and you go down and the bottom of is subscriptions and if you've subscribed to stuff, you can just click on that and then 
the latest thing from everything you've subscribed to is showing up. Let me see. Some things about it all are nice. Well, I might as well put this right on, right? It's body butter, so it's good for you. And it's castor oil, which is even better. And citronella. So when you're outside, they most mosquitoes won't like you, won't, won't love you. They might like you. All right. That one will be for me. I should probably wipe off my hands. Not necessarily onto my hands. This is getting to be a little bit much here. I could put it on my legs. I got, I got dry body from being inside in, with the wood stove. Just the last three days or so, it's been nice enough outside to be going outside to play. Well, I go outside to play out all the time. But what I mean. Hey, isn't this cool how this dress goes with this? <coughs> I like to wear an overdress, you know? So I've got my regular dress. My pretty, pretty dress with all these little pretty buttons coming down the front. That'd be nice. Anyway, but then I put another dress on to keep it from getting ruined. But I think I might have just made a spot on it with my fingers. Okay, so that's from my friend. Tom, I'll put it here where I'll remember to take it outside. Okay. Now, I guess we should stop and start over, right? Because now we're going to make oatmeal raisin cookies. So, goodbye. Ah, oh, it's so good to feel good again. It's so good to have some inspiration. I found a bee nest on Minecraft today. And yesterday I went fishing on Minecraft and I got all these bones and boots and all kinds of stuff and fish. And and the bones I can use to go get oh another wolf. I've had three wolves, but they were pets, but things happened to them. Blocks fell on them, they got stuck in a door and who would know that you can't close the door when an animal's in the middle of the doorway or they'll get stuck in the door. Anyway, that was the end of that. So, but I have, anyway, you don't want to hear about that. But you know the thing about Minecraft? I love it because I don't have to work hard physically to feel like I accomplished something. But I feel depressed because I'm alone. And there's no reason for all of that. Like, I might be building it all, but who's going to look at it? What's it for? Is it all, all just me? And when things are all for me, I don't feel happy. I don't feel good. So I've been, um, I've been trying to um, figure out how to get out of that. And I found that if I have a friend and I can tell her, oops, she can see my teeth. If I have a friend and I can tell her what I've accomplished, then it make it's like yes, let's go do something else. Isn't that interesting? But if it's like, for me, it's like, well, yeah, who cares if I build a grass hut? What else difference does it make, you know? I could do it or I could not do it. But now I keep finding all these materials whenever I'm down there. And so, of course, I have to, um, I have to put them somewhere. So I'm weaving them in and I'm making these, I've, I've got these, like there was an intersection of, there was a three, like a T intersection, but more like a triangle. So what that means is that there were alder bushes and so the paths went between the alder bushes. Well, I arched the alder bushes over, and they're all living. And then I twisted them all together. I'm coming this way and coming that way. And and then I wove more stuff through it. And everything I find, you know, I was cutting off all the little willow shoots that are in the in the meadow down there, <coughs> in the sedge meadow. So they'll come back up as straight willow. And um. Hmm. And so I wove all them through. Sorry, I, I squirrel. Okay, so um, here, would you like to look outside? Since we finished what this video is about, you know, everybody can go do what they want to do now if they want to do something else. I have I have a bird. My my grandson has this white dove. Looks like such a mess, doesn't it? I have all this awesome wood. I've been building things. Building, building, building. Look at those little tables. You see the little tables out there? Okay. I built them. And I built this bench. Look at this cool bench. 
And this little table here. And this one here. Hey, this is cool. I can show you all these tables I built. There's been activity this winter, or this spring. Over there is a maple syrup production thing. And up here, there's maple syrup happening. And so sometimes I would see people out there doing things. And I have a new bird. Um, it's a, a dove. It's gray, dark gray, grayish brown. And it's been down here and hopping about and my grandson has one that he calls Lovey Dovey. So I thought I should name it Lovey Dovey too. Isn't this a cute little table and chair? Should probably paint it a new color, but yeah, probably should. Hey, did you ever see that hut I made up there? I really got into making grass huts last spring. See that? This branch. Let me see if I can do that properly. Hey, seven people are there with three thumbs up. Bless your hearts. So see that? <laughs> this poor tree branch, it broke from here, fell there. See, there's the beginning of it. It's very huge. It's absolutely immovable. And so I put some netting over it and I, from the garden, because I have all this netting from the garden, which I'll now have to rebuy, but um, I put I put netting over there and I put some some of the decorative grass on it. It, it. it needs work. I should get out there and work on that too. Isn't that a beautiful form? Oh, and I emptied all the birdhouses. I have see let's see, there's a birdhouse there on the end of that bed. Hey, this is fun, eh? I have somebody to talk to. So over there's a little birdhouse. And that's so that one is a bluebird size. Can you see it? It's on the it's not there. It's on the end of this bed. I don't know. Yeah, that's better. Wow, this is cool. Now you don't run. There it is, up in there, up on that post. Looks like that branch is above it, but the tree is back behind it on Cindy Land. Okay, so that's a bluebird house, and that one has it's for wrens. You can hear the bluebird. There he is, right at the top. Where are you, Bluebird? There. You need binoculars. If you have binoculars, you can watch him moving his mouth while he sings. Okay, so, um, so the Bluebirds came the other day and I realized I have a birdhouse there and I have one One there, and one there. So that's Bluebird, and that one's Bluebird. But that one lost its front, and that one is a good one. I emptied that. This one lost its front, which I think is still good for a robin. And uh, it might not be big enough. Yeah, try this. That one is for little birds. A robin, a, a bluebird wouldn't use that. That's for bluebirds wren or something small and bluebird. So, and then this one here is bluebird size too. And then over on the other side of this awesome valley, look at what I'm getting to show you. You never get to see it all, do you? So that tree I planted and that tree, one year, I told you about this before, right? Canadian Tire charged me $400 to do a um, uh, clean, drive clean test like to fix everything, you were supposed to, I will just let you pass with a conditional what anyway. So this is the decorative grass. I've been taking that down. I use some of that over here on this hut. Hey, see this upside down tree, upside down stump? Ben helped me get that. It was in a ditch. It was over a ditch. It was up on a little cliff. Anyway, it's a bluebird bottle holder thing. And there's another stump beside it, which could have some real nice purpose. Maybe I should do something with that down at the, um, down at the settlement. All right, how come it's saying welcome to live chat? Okay, so here we go. Let's go over here again. So there's this thing. This was the, um, there's a zip line, which it is holding on to. Zip line is there, goes across there. 
This other one is a clothesline. Okay, so the zip line, which goes from the top of that pole and goes all the way across the yard. Whee! And to that. And so I tied stuff to it when I was gardening. And I tied the beans. These beans were going wild and the zip line was going overhead and I had these, um, what I thought were amazing trellises, but the beans just ignored them. I mean, the beans were just treated it like they were squash or pumpkins or something. Anyway, so, so this is hanging there and I was thinking, what if I were able, what if I were able to open it up and have it go all on the trampoline? And then when it's done, it would be up in this tube. And it would also keep sticks from falling on it. That might sell it to Willem. It will keep sticks from, see there's sticks on there now. You know, when you jump on you'll damage your trampoline, right? So we need this expensive piece of gardening material to go over the top. And this tree, my poor elm tree, look, it's alive up there. Oh, look, it's opening up. Oh, it's going to be spring. It really is going to happen. Look at this. Anyway, there's a children's play structure there. This is fun taking you around. Oh, I have my oven is on. I was gonna, I made that, you know? You can, you can do this at home. This, I found this thing in the dump and um, it had a, had a cloth, a cloth thing on it, which is one day gonna fall apart. But in the meantime, I've got a piece of wood there so I don't really push on the cloth and some needs bleaching things. I have all this um, tussock sedge and it's really tall grass. I want to try coiling. I haven't ever learned how to do this. Not really. So over there, those are Willem's garden beds. Let me come out here on the treehouse deck and show you that. This, this is new. Have you seen that before? This is our little breezeway so that in the winter we can come out of the house, get out there and get some wood, and go back in without walking in snow. This is a little pig I got for my mother. She likes pigs. And her little dog, Tippy. That is kind of an eyesore down there. This is, a ch this is my very well thought out um, door. I measured twice and cut once. <laughs> Something's wrong with this picture. You see, so I'm going to put hinges on it, and then it keeps from having any wind coming here, because look at this. Isn't that cool? So I, I usually have a chair out here, but I have... Oh, I made these tables. Isn't that neat? You just have to make sure your ends are square. And that's all you do is cut a board into three pieces. Look what I found at the dump for los chillin. Whee! <coughs> they haven't really discovered this one yet. So I don't let Willem empty the whole woodshed because not until he's out of wood everywhere else because otherwise it's too windy. These are the extras when they put the roof on every time you get you order steel they give you a cover sheet so I now have three good pieces of black steel anyway <clears throat> this is this is the other chair which I made also from the dump but it's gotten too soggy saggy anyway <clears throat> hi Emily I wondered about you are you are you gonna have a baby I was thinking that you might be in the in the motherly way. If you're who I think I are, uh, you are. Are you Emily from Georgia? Anyway, I was going to show you. This is Willem's. Um, these are the beds that Scarlet made. So I called it Scarlet's Garden. But we've really built up the soil and added lots of straw and leaves last year. They're all filled in. It was cow manure on top and then leaves. <laughs> okay, Emily, you don't have to have a baby if you're already done. <coughs> okay, so 
Um, Willem is putting these to keep the deer from getting in. He's putting um, deer netting on one side and burlap on the outsides. And I'm not sure that the burlap is a good idea. I think that it, it I don't think that this gets enough sun here because it's so close. You know, by the time the sun is up there, it's almost noon because those, those are very tall, thick maples. Anyway, <clears throat> and there's Deer Meadow. You know, one thing about Minecraft, when I stand on my deck in Minecraft, we built this house in Minecraft, so there's no mess. <laughs> there's nothing wrong. But um, when I stand there and look at my deck, and here I want to be able to walk straight across there. Like, I really want to do this. But I am going to have to pay someone to do it because I don't think that I can do it myself properly. So I've got a string, a rope going through there. You see how I'm already up to no good? <laughs> oh, look, we made some more birdhouses this year. And so I put these two here. Isn't that a nice place for a bluebird house? He won't use it because it's in the trees and the raccoon them. But someone will. And here's another one. It doesn't look like it really is centered very well. How did that? Oh, I know why. It's because the top is supposed to be movable, only not from this end. What was I thinking? Oh my goodness, let's see what I can bang it with. I have lots of bang it with materials. <clears throat> and so I also have a swing here. You know, a swing is really good for your back. And I have a table inside for working on. And then my loom with that cedar bark on it. This is my workshop. Willem, Willem let me have this built. It's not done yet. Anyway, so I make my stuff out here. These are more table legs. And then of course, in order to build this beautiful little structure so that we don't get rain on, look, see, you can still be in the sun in the morning. And this, you can pull it right out, except that the base is separating from the frame. But um, I have to make railings there. And all this, I guess, should be cleaned up. But you know what? When it's like that, I feel more like I'm in the woods. Except not when it's got boards in it. I have on socks or I'd pick them up. Tidy, tidy, tidy. The snow has just gone. So I haven't really gone out and tidied yet. It's not that time yet. See, there's still snow there. Oh no, that's cement. Oh man, what have we got cement there? Lots of tidying, I guess. So I have to do something here. Be nice to have stairs that just go this way. Now in Minecraft, that'd be easy, click, click. But in RL, it's more difficult. Maybe it should be on this side. Let's see. If I put them here, there'd be more room to get there. I could build that up underneath it a bit. Then you could walk that way and this way. But these steps now, I've, I've messed with my path. The spring peepers, can you hear that? This amazing place to live. I can't believe I get to live here. Oh, we got the oven on, we have to work. Oh, there's my boots, I should take them around the house. Should actually use them and pick up that stuff, right? That's what you would do. All right, let's do it. <clears throat> if you keep your back straight, as straight as you can when you're walking, when you're doing everything. So this this is um, pretty steep here. I've never come down here before. This was built the day the last the snow came before it was built, finished. <clears throat> so I've never done this before down here. There's lots of little pieces of wood that have to go. And garbage. Yeah, I got about, oh look at this one is a, oh it's just bolted on, that's right. Bolted it on to fill the tree. And instead, a tree came down because of my roof. Let's put it here. 
<clears throat> I guess the trash, I'll put the trash there. This is a, a good piece of wood. Well, no, it was a good piece of wood. Now it is just wood. But part of it is good. Sorry, I'm just lifting it up here. All right, we've got to go back in and do that other thing, and I'll have to start a new video. <clears throat> There's Nancy's spa. I have to get that all cleaned up for for a bath in the woods. I have to. I have to get soft, wa uh, hard water outside. Our water softener is hooked up to the everything. Except there's a tap in the basement or in the crawl space. Look at that, I did it. That's stuff I've been looking at for months while it's been snowed on and frozen there. Hey Phoebe, good morning. Hey, chickadee. Hey, chickadee. Heck, chickadee. <clears throat> well, now we have some rope. Those are supposed to get hung up <clears throat> with my drill right here for my holding stuff. This is the north deck. This is where I come to watch the stars. And when I lay in bed, I can look out and I can see the stars here. It's usually the Big Dipper and the Cassiopeia and Camilla, whatever they're called. Oh look, there's a robin up in the tree. Hey there, robin. Did you fly back from Georgia? Where did you go? Look at those little buds up there. Those are the little flowers on the trees. Hey. Speaking of flowers, I wonder if there's anything happening with the... That bush there is this forsythia. Look, more trash. More trash. I can't look. Yikes. More trash. <coughs> more trash. Oh, look, it is starting. Oh my gosh. This is a big day. Can you get reception if I go down here? See, look, we have snow. We have some still. And that fell off the post. Look at it, it's gonna happen. Wow, we're gonna have spring. It's actually over. I really loved winter. Oh, look at how many are in the center there. Little clusters. Look at that little cluster too. In Minecraft, I would go click, 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 and harvest all those little clusters. I got a bee's nest today. I had to get silk touch to do that. Good morning, red-tailed hawk. Good morning. Look. Is somebody going to live in this this year? Kier, kier, kier. That's all the black. Is that where they wounded it? This is something, oh dear, the bugs were here last year, you know. And they wounded the tree. Huh. But they look pretty good. You see where they ate off the, the caterpillars, ate the needles off. I was out here every day taking caterpillars off the trees. And I've seen them, the nests are on the trees, of course. And, now and then I find them and I do them in. Oh, trash, trash, trash. Trash, trash, trash. Bone. Hey, that's good for a basket. Maybe I'll use that for my basket I'm making now. It'll be a good handle. 
And in Minecraft, with that, you could tame a wolf. And you might get it if you go fishing. And just sit there and click every time the bobbin goes under. It takes a while between bobbin clicks. So what do I do with all this? Well, I used to be able to open these windows from the outside. I don't think I can anymore. I think it's, I think it's locked. Oh no, it's not. Look at that. Okay, well here's some a new home for my rope. There we go. Okay. How is that? You guys aren't saying anything. Do you want to say something? I have another birdhouse to put together here. And I was sitting there doing it while I was sitting. And I'll show you what I've been doing out here. I don't know if you can, I have, I can't go out there, I think. So what I've been doing, I've been, I, I, at the dump last year, I got these boards, remember? I got those little boards and I've been cutting, there they are in little bundles. I've been cutting them up and to pieces, the right size and everything for bluebirds. And so I you saw there's two new ones on the thing and there are, isn't that pretty? Look at this. I like looking at this in here. We've had all our campfires down there lately. I want to build an entranceway for it. But I've got that wrong. Not sure how to do it. <clears throat> I have to think about it. Sometimes procrastinating is a very good thing because while you're procrastinating, you're actually rehearsing it in your mind and coming up with better ways. And usually if you're procrastinating something, it's because there's a, a part of it that you don't know what to do with, like this right here. This is gonna be fixed and be hanging up again. It's gonna hang up here, I think, in one of these spots so that you can sit here and swing. Let's see where it should go. Let's do that right now. So I lie in bed right there and I look out the window, right? And I have to be able, from my bed, to see the sunrise, because I see that. This is here because I'm gonna get up there and put this roof stuff on. So I can't have it here. Now, if I have it here, it would be good for a breezy day because this is very windy through here, but it would be shady. So if I had it right there, you could see the beautiful view you could have some wind in the summertime when it's hot or when the bugs are out, it'll blow the mosquitoes away and the black flies. And it would be right in the way if you put a staircase there. Maybe the staircase should go here. Or maybe you just forget the staircase, put a railing there. And then these, I guess they have to be cut off. I just hate using wood improperly. They should be, they're, the stairs themselves are turned backwards. The stair things, he should have put them on the other direction. He wanted them to make, see, they should have been turned the other way, I think. They would be far, they would, see, they're just, anyway. So this should be taken off and scooted over, and that one should also be taken off and scooted over because we don't need it sticking out that long. We could just have it over there, right? And then I could walk around the tree because this would not be there, right? These are going to go over as far as they can. So I could move this over. I can move them all over. Well, these, look at that. This whole thing is, is arched. He said that the deck is arched. It shouldn't be arched there. Why is it arched? It must not have a high enough post at the corner. There's a lot of posts everywhere. Posts everywhere. Let me look at this again. Oh, here come the little lilacs. These bushes, boxes are in the way again. They've been in the way ever since I got them. Okay, <clears throat> so. So if I undo the screws there and there, I can scoot them over. I'll need a shovel and I'll need my screwdriver. You know, like in Minecraft, when you go to do something, you have to um, to make sure you got what you're going to need. Let 
and this has all got to be cleaned up. This is one of the old boards. I didn't want them out there. I wanted them stacked neatly. They're reusable, but they're gotten kind of yucky. Look at all this chaos over here. The elms are dying, you see. There's another tree broke right around here somewhere. What do you see? From the house I saw something. There it is, right there. Where did that tree go? You're probably going to get cut off, aren't you? There's the tree. Oh, right down there, right in. Um, look at this. This looks like a pinwheel cookie. I bet that is a toy. Let's see. Or maybe it's something you don't want to touch. Oh no, it's part of this thing. A little sunshine. Why would I waste my money on things of no value? Okay. So this, this is the chute here. Where's the sign? No, the chute is here. In the winter, when you go down the chute, when you go down the chute, you end up, it takes two seconds and you're standing at the bottom. It's amazing. You don't fall, you end up standing there, but this is right in the way. It must have been through here and that tree has fallen with those ones and this has fallen. It's probably better for the mountain or the hill. Hmm. Hammock. Some sticks and look at that arched one there. Use some sticks and make um make railings so I could easily get down. Or wouldn't it be good to have steps? Minecraft, you could go click 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 and it would all be done and it would look beautiful and you could put flowers there, flowers, flowers, flowers. And then you get to the edge of the water and you want a boat so you can craft a boat, put a boat in the water. Away you go. I think I'm going to put my kayak on the trailer. I have to get going. I have to go meet someone and get hay. Regalia. Oh, look at this coconut. That's a good coconut. I should use that for should make a birdhouse out of that. I can't believe there's a coconut out here. Somebody cleaned my kitchen and threw out a coconut. There's coconut in it, you know? So we have to go back in there and make those cookies so I can give them to the son of the person that I'm going to go hang out with <coughs> and get hay for the garden. <coughs> Rotten hay. I tell you every time I see it that I built, I, put, I planted these trees. Can you imagine being old enough that the trees you planted are bigger than you? I mean, you gotta get some age on you. Aren't they gorgeous trees? I'm, that's why the deck is out here. So I can get right into the tree. But we're not to cut the tree. I don't want the tree to be less important than the deck. So you see, there should be another railing here. This one's not so wonderful as the other one, but I shouldn't say that one. Yeah, this is a white, a white spruce. They smell like cat pee, so, and they're kind of prickly. This one doesn't look like that, though. This is a better one. I mean, I shouldn't say that around it, either. Mmm, this is an amazing one. Look, this is one of the bird's nests that I took out of the birdhouse. I know, a bird could do a better job at that, but who knows? Maybe they would like to use some of it. But it's not too riddled with disease. All right, let's go inside. I was going to show you when I was out there that um, I was those had a stack of birdhouses that have to have holes put in them. These are going down to my basketry hut. Now I cannot make them when I'm down there sitting in the shade. Okay. So now we have all 
this trash. Paper, wood and paper, but there's a little bit of plastic here. There we go. And rope goes in the sunroom. And a coconut. This is cool. I'm going to make something out of it. I guess I have to put a hole in it. And I have to put the plastic in the garbage. Hey, you want to see what, what they wrote about me in the paper? Look at this. Anyway, there's my TP down there. On this, I'm going to put a hole in. So this has to go out there for hole putting in purposes. I'll go out here with all these other ones. I, these have all got to have holes drilled in the fronts. And I made them so that you can you can turn the roof to fix to undo the. So I just put one screw in the corner. All right, I guess we have to go and start our cookies. I'm gonna make a, a I'm gonna make a thing of father's ties. These are all my father's ties. I think there's many more than this. I'm gonna make a, a rug, a weave it with those ties. Okay, back to work we go. Oh, now we have to wash our hands. Okay, it's a good time to stop. Goodbye. Been nice sitting with you. Thanks for coming. I'll turn it on again in a minute.